I'm Sarah Gore and this is Open House. This week we have some great properties to explore in New York and LA, including this boutique hotel inspired home in Brooklyn, and how music inspired this designer in LA. An elegant brownstone in Brooklyn with odes to fashion and travel throughout. Plus see how Broadway comes alive in Westchester at this verdant estate. But first, TV personality and wellness coach Teddy Mellencamp shows off her brand new family home in Encino, California. This is our formal living room. I really only go in this room and actually sit when I'm trying to hide because no one will expect it. Welcome to Open House, everyone. Today I'm coming to you from this bespoke loft in Tribeca, New York. Check out this bright and airy, open concept great room featuring multiple living and entertaining spaces. A distinct modern chef's kitchen and a raised glass enclosed home office round out this jaw-dropping space. And at the end of the day, unwind in your expansive primary bedroom suite with spa-like bath. One of three bedrooms in this well over 4,000 square foot home. We are starting things off this week in Encino, California with TV personality, wellness coach, and friend of the show, Teddy Mellencamp. She takes us on a tour of her brand new family home that was designed for comfort, convenience, and of course, stylish living, inside or out, work or play. See for yourself. Hi guys, it's Teddy Mellencamp Ariave, and welcome to my new home. We've now chosen something that was family friendly with our kids being home. We needed a change and we are so grateful for it. Don't mind this situation back here. It's as if my husband went out and bought all these cars just for this shoot. Ay, yeah, yeah. let's go in the house. So here we are. How cool is this foyer? I love it. There is so much open space. I love this little sitting area so you can sit in, take your shoes off if you want. And then this is normally completely full of things, but I cleaned it just for you guys. And look at this beautiful chandelier. Ugh, oh, I love this. This is our formal living room. I really only go in this room and actually sit when I'm trying to hide because no one will expect it. Back this way, we've got our dining room. And then look at that cool painting. My dad did it of slate. It also has an amazing view of the bar. And here's another painting. This one's of me that my dad did from when I was a kid. Don't tell him it's on the floor and I never got it framed. And here we go. This is our amazing kitchen. So cool. It would be even cooler if I cooked. It's such an open area. We're able to see everything. If I'm in here, you know, cooking, aka heating something up, then I can look out and see my entire family. Over here is our uh, living room. You may notice something. My husband has a thing for the color white from the cars to the couch when you have a ton of kids. It's just, you know. And ah, uh, you guys, we have a theater. This has been so fun for the kids. We've binge watched some shows, we watch movies. We even have this little like old popcorn maker. So you kind of actually feel like you're in the theater. Now here we are. This is the true reason we bought this house. This is one big open space. We've got foosball, we've got a swimming pool. We also have this little Baja shelf right here with the chairs, which is great. So if like, you know, mommies who lunch, we can sit here, watch our kids play. And if there's any sports on or whatever, we got it right there. It's a win-win no matter which way you look at it. So let's head upstairs. I, I love it here. This is also another open space. You feel like you're, you're on vacation. It actually feels like you're on vacation here. I love my room. I've got a really cool closet in there. I mean, I love this because I can go straight from my room right into my office. I'm able to be productive here. I've got my little reading area, the fireplace, everything I need in this room right here to get stuff done.
So this is the one space in the house that's adults only. Show me your ID to get in. I mean, it's private. You can have a fire pit. I have my girlfriends up here. You have a glass of wine. And it really just makes you feel like you're stepping out of your home. Been nice hanging with you. Thanks for coming to see my house. Until I get another one, bye for now. Don't go anywhere because after the break, we are with legendary Broadway producer Fran Weisler at her Westchester home. We'll be right back. Welcome back, everyone. Now we're in Wacabuck, New York with legendary Broadway producer Fran Weisler. Fran and her husband Barry have produced dozens of hits on the Great White Way, including the long-running Chicago, which is celebrating its 25th year. Sited on over 18 acres, their home is an ode to comfort and relaxation. With warm and inviting living spaces filled with their collections, art, and awards, but it's the outside where this property really comes alive with verdant gardens, lawns, dramatic pathways, and an amphitheater. Fran truly loves her home and it shows. See why. Hi, I'm Fran Weisler, and along with my husband, Barry, we're producers on Broadway, and this is our home in Wacabuck, New York, we produced 34 Broadway shows. Also, Chicago, which I'd like to say, bought this house for us. After we became somewhat successful, we decided it would be terrific to have a second home. So we came here, I looked at the house, and I thought, oh my God, this is it. I think as soon as you walk in, there's a degree of comfort. I had a marvelous interior designer. And what I said to him is I would like it to have some elegance, but basically I want every chair, every couch to be comfortable. And he gave us that. This is a very large living room and it has six French doors, three leading to the courtyard and three more leading to the porch. There's another door leading to the dining room and another door leading to the hallway into the kitchen. <laughs> I'm a foodie, so the kitchen is probably the most important room of the house to me. And I, I keep recipes and we have a chef now whose name is Adam, who never minds me bringing him a recipe. Off the kitchen is the sunroom, but I made that sunroom into my office. So there's a chair and an ottoman, and the ottoman has become my desk. Barry has a real office with a door that closes, that he keeps closed a lot, <laughs> and he has a big desk and a large window looking out onto the outdoors. On the second floor, we have a long hallway, so we decided to put up all the shows we've produced. I guess it's a little bit of bragging rights, but um, it kind of made us feel good. I have a very large bedroom. I'm really spoiled, and off it is a terrace, and when you stand on the terrace, you can look out and see the whole property. I pinch myself every time I look out of this view. I can't believe it. So the property, which is 18 and a half acres, was designed by James Doyle, and he did an extraordinary job. We have a 60-foot pool. The other thing we have is fabulous apple trees. So, how do you like them apples? And on the front part of the house, there's a large amphitheater. I guess we can say we bought a little piece of Broadway to Westchester County. I guess I love this home because I can think here. It's very calming. And I also think I can dream here. Anyway, thank you for coming. I loved having you.
check out what we've got coming up next on Open House. One thing I loved about this home was the high ceilings. It really feels really dramatic. We'll be right back. Welcome back everyone. Now we're in the bed area of Brooklyn at the brownstone of designer Carly Kushney. Carly used understated color and texture to complement the architectural details of the home. She also added her collections from a life of travel and custom furnishings to create an abode that is stylish, unique, and comfortable. She shows us around. Hi, I'm Carly Kushney. I'm a designer and welcome to my home in Bed-Stuy, Brooklyn. My husband and I bought this brownstone about four and a half years ago and we absolutely fell in love with it when we first saw it. And now I'd love to show it to you. This is our living space where we spend most of our time as a family. One thing I loved about this home was the high ceilings. It really feels really dramatic to sort of emphasize that. So I bleached the floor so it just felt even more expansive and really, really airy. So throughout my home, there's always this play between high and low. I have things that we've collected along our travels. So I have this custom TV console that is super sleek and clean. And also I have this lovely entryway with a last look mirror and a vintage chair. Now let me take you into the dining area. This is my formal dining area. This is a custom oak and glass table and vintage chairs. One of my favorite pieces is this bowl that weighs an absolute ton that my husband brought back from Morocco. So this bookshelf was discovered during the renovation. I placed a collection of our favorite bowls that we've collected over our travels. So I wanted to have the lighting to have a similar feel throughout the space so that it felt fluid, but then they're also just a little bit different so it delineates between each of the spaces. So there's a chandelier over the dining area, and then I have a linear chandelier over the kitchen table. My husband and I both really love to cook, so this has been a dream space for us. There's lots of cabinets everywhere. We can put everything away and keep the counter very clean and serene, and when you're ready to cook, everything's at your fingertips. We have a marble kitchen island in the center of the space. This tends to be where we eat the most as a family, and as we can move it around, it's great that we can push it to one side and then have a much more open space if we have guests over. So again, I wanted to create this really serene feeling, especially as the kitchen doors open out onto the back deck, so you have this indoor-outdoor feeling. Upstairs is where my bedroom is. I wanted it to feel super tranquil. So the palette in here is mainly neutral tones, different shades of beige and grays to really just make this place just feel really peaceful and just a place that my husband and I could come and relax. I love this bed. The headboard is linen and reclaimed wood. And I love how the bed feels a little bit rustic against more refined pieces within the room, like the crystal chandelier or the gold mirror. So the bathroom just over here, my little eclectic sanctuary. You have the Calcutta marble on the back wall mixed with the black and white geometric tile on the floor. And then it's all sort of brightened up with this peachy color on the walls. I love this home. I really think it exemplifies the eclectic mix of me as a designer, mixing high, low, vintage, and things from our travels. It's very personal to me and who I am. Thank you so much for taking a look. Don't go anywhere because just after the break, we explore this music-inspired home in Los Angeles. We'll be right back. Welcome back. Now we're in the Eagle Rock section of Los Angeles with designer Holly Conlon, co-founder and principal of Wake and Loom. She shows us around her own fully renovated home that's filled with unique style and easy charm and music. Take a look. Hi, 
Hi guys, my name is Holly Conlon and I am an interior designer and co-owner of Wake and Loom Interior Design. But today is less about work and more about my house. So welcome to my home. It's all behind this gate. Come on in. Welcome to my living room. This is one of my favorite spaces in the house because it's so beautifully and naturally lit. There are these huge windows that bring in so much beautiful light and it's a really neat thing because this is a small house and the living room is a small room, but because of the windows, it sort of extends the room out to the outdoors. It's really kind of special. So on top of being an interior designer, I'm also a musician. So it was really important to me to have music be kind of the centerpiece of the living room room, which is why we have my piano here. On the other side of the living room is sort of our main sitting area, and just beyond it is the deck, which is also our dining room. So now here we are in our primary bedroom. It's just a soft little space, and we have these beautiful windows that show the greenery from the yard, and it's a really nice place to wake up in. So you'll also notice that we have some pompous leaves. It's really nice to bring in natural elements into a bedroom, it just softens the space. And I was also going for that same sort of effect with the tables, just the natural wood slab. It's just a really nice organic feature. So you've seen all of the main space of the house where we live and entertain, but a girl's gotta have a space to work and you haven't seen that part yet, so let's go check that out. Last stop on our tour is my studio slash office space. It's a separate entrance from the rest of the main house, so it's a nice little cozy area I can call my own and have as my creative space. I just love it because I just went all out with stuff that I love. I did this blush paint throughout, floating shelves in the monochromatic, same color as the walls. I got to, you know, just really have fun with this space. Thank you guys so much for coming on this tour with me. This was a long project that we put our hearts and souls into and I just appreciate you coming to see it and we'll catch you on the next one. Just after the break, we are in Brooklyn at this stylish hotel inspired home. Don't go anywhere. Welcome back. Now we're in the Gravesend neighborhood of Brooklyn for a look at this unique modern home designed by architect Andrew Wilkinson. Andrew kept it warm and welcoming with memorable accents throughout. On the floors, the walls, and in ultra stylish and comfortable furnishings. Check it out. Hello. My name is Andrew Wilkinson. I'm an architect based in New York City, and today I'd like to take you on a tour of a very special house we designed here in Gravesend, Brooklyn. The owners aspired to create a peaceful, elegant, boutique hotel-like atmosphere that had moments of drama in every space. And I think we succeeded in creating that for them. And this drama happens as soon as you approach the home. The formal living room is arranged on one side by this monumental fireplace flanked with terrace doors and a mahogany frame. The fireplace is clad with the same tumbled bluestone that we used on the exterior. The furniture has a very clean, simple aesthetic to it which complements everything throughout the living room. The room feels sophisticated and cosmopolitan. You can see that I saved the dining room for the highest ceiling in the house. This high gabled ceiling is the perfect spot for this stunning David Weeks lighting fixture. On the floor, I created an inlay of wood to soften the space and to also offer a welcome relief to the stone flooring. Floor to ceiling windows offer full views into the side yard gardens. The main bedroom is yet another location where a two-story space creates some wonderful moments. In this case, it becomes a dormer with angled windows that flood this space with morning sun. And if you aren't a morning person, no problem. A simple click of the remote turns the windows dark. Just off the bedroom is the bath. 
Dark stone, walnut cabinetry, and a steam bath shower with a wall of beautifully figured book match stone suggests a moody boutique hotel vibe that the owners were searching for. And now for the best part and something truly special in a New York City house. Like any boutique hotel, this home has everything you could ask for in outdoor amenities. A dining area, a kitchen, and even a hot tub. And all of this can be enjoyed while sitting under this mahogany shade pavilion. From the foundation to finishes, this two-year project was a passion for us. I hope you enjoyed seeing it. Thanks for coming. Thanks for watching. Like what you see on the show? Well, be sure to subscribe to our channel. We have so many more beautiful homes to share. It's all about love. Share these homes, you know?